We're on Virgo talking about Og Rotten. Hi guys. Hi Virgo. This is Lindsay with uh, Horoscope Ish. <clears throat> Entertainment purposes only. I literally started the uh, video during a conversation about co uh, potatoes and favorite potato dishes. Og Rotten. Get you some. <laughs> um, so yesterday I kept on seeing all these panda bears and I had this like happiness going on like almost like an overload of what I love in life and I mean it's almost like everywhere I turned yesterday there was a damn panda bear and I say it like that because I'm like what is going on like I just all day was oh 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 so today we are using the way of the panda deck and doing a book read which is where I lay down a card and a story develops one at a time. For Virgo, what you gonna tell your dad? It's like the wheel of fortune. What you gonna tell your dad though if this wheel lets you down? Hmm. My love is my ending and you might be too. I feel like that was incredibly chaotic energy, Virgo, but you get it. <laughs> so, uh, Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing. Okay. Virgo, did you have something amazing happen in your life recently? Because it's almost like things are changing. What are you going to tell your dad? Ace of Base is coming up for this. I love this. Oh, what's that? A brand new opportunity? Okay, uh, I almost feel like Virgo, like it's your time. Um, anytime I see clouds, I definitely, uh, uh, you know, aces to me are like, <laughs> there you go, from the universe. God, source. It's all energy, baby. It's all energy. So, so things are turning in your favor. Because that Ace of Pentacles is like, that's it. That's definitely in your favor. I just tried to shuffle these upside down. Virgo, all the cards are on the table. Everything is exposed. Everything that, that would need, everything has come to a completion, tied off like a pretty bow, because here's the Ace of Pentacles. Why? <laughs> You're about to be handed something that belongs to you, Virgo. Um... And it's almost like, oh, there it is. Thank you. Leave it right there. <laughs> you know the scene off of um, Christmas Vacation when uh, the mail carrier hands Clark his um, something. He's like, sorry, I got stuck in between my seat. I didn't see it until now. And Clark thinks that he's getting uh, his Christmas bonus from his company. And it ends up not being a Christmas bonus. It ends up being a Christmas slap in the face. And then he loses it, and then he finally gets way more than he, uh, he doesn't lose it. He says, that's enough. So Virgo, maybe you've said recently, that's enough. Happy read. To Ooh, that one wants to flip. I'm going to take it. Ooh, a new opportunity when it comes to your roots. Look at that familiar. Hey, I'm not a cat, but I'll play kitty with you. Familiars. A new beginning with familiars, with the past, with, with uh, a reality that you're nostalgic for. Aww. It's cute. It's cute. I think it's cute. I'm also using a cute deck. So, you know, you can't. I find it very difficult to be upset in the presence of any kind of memorabilia surrounding pandas, okay? So it's like, <laughs> how can you not? They're so funny. Started watching this new show where they make fun of pandas. <laughs> and a part of me was a little like, hey, they call pandas stupid. And so what do you have to worry about as a panda? I don't know, let's go find a panda and figure it out. Um, all right, so this past, oh, Queen of Swords. All right, so you can see this one of two ways, or one of several ways, actually, but the way I see it is protecting um, an inner child or protecting a child. Um, there's a new beginning when it comes to the past, and perhaps this has to do with you um, 
guarding a child. Uh, in good faith, I see these uh, feathers falling. Like you're, like it's, it's, you have faith, a lot of faith. Now we have this guy. What is that, the page? Knight, eight, <laughs> we're fine. Eight of Pentacles. This is about patience. Maybe patience with the child. Um, like analyzing, like uh, patience isn't even, sometimes when I think of the word patience, I think uh, waiting to understand better. Like you're trying to understand better. Look at how this panda is like looking at what it has. Like I, what, what, how, I must analyze this. So patience in, uh, Patience and what you're doing, what you're trying to accomplish, especially in protecting either your inner child or an actual child outside of you. So you're having some patience. You're analyzing. Ha! Virgo, analyze. <laughs> what? That's uncharacteristic. I'm lying. That is sarcasm. <laughs> gotta follow the rules with this there's something about following the rules and in this case in this deck it's about following the rules but what you hear turn it into absolute enlightenment the rainbow is a promise right in certain uh, belief systems like what you hear has been promised Aww. in one ear and out the other completely transformed because of what you're learning. And you're very serious about learning and you're very serious about following the rules. Life lessons, life lessons, the Hierophant. Maybe you're going through, I just, it, it could be outside of you or inside of you or both. Um, so you're just, you're going based on tradition. And um, because of that, because of going based on, isn't that so funny? Like doing the right thing causes this resistance. There we go. Here's the thing. The panda's like, yeah, man, that was a hard, that took a long, hard fall off the back of a cruise ship. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have to see bridesmaids to understand that. The newer version, apparently there's two versions. Uh, the one with the, you know, the SNL crew. Yeah. It's kind of like, oh, I took a long, hard fall. Yeah, yeah, oh, crap. But I can still, I can still be there to see it through. I can still be there to see my life through. I took a long, hard fall. <laughs> Off the back of a cruise ship. <laughs> what? <laughs> Melissa McCarthy's line. It's one of Melissa McCarthy's lines, and I'm not going to say it all because... It has profanity in it. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to like mind my P's and Q's with profanity. Um, I guess, kind of. I just don't want to offend anyone. So um, I feel like Chris, uh, Chris Tucker in uh, Rush Hour, behind the scenes, he was like, I can't do these lines, it's so offensive. Um, okay, so uh, while you're being like, you're seeing it to the end. Here we go. How about this little knight of pentacles? Slow and steady wins the race, baby. And you're going for a bigger goal here. Ooh, what's that? It's just out of reach. I mean, I guess you could reach it, but it's just, something's just out of reach. What is this? Slow and steady. Routine. It's also a cautionary tale. It just has your interest. Ooh. That's interesting. Together, these would make a five, which would mean change. Almost, depending on your perspective of life, a five can be a yucky thing, meaning I feel left out of this whole thing, or it could be a good thing, meaning, oh, feast and famine. Ah, it's feast and famine. But here you are, 
Mm-hmm. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You just, wait, just let it. Let it register. Huh? You're like, it's too bright. Like, it's like literally, it's so bright. It's shiny. So bright. You said, say you to me, you're bourbon and I, but anything shiny. Yeah. Who's this? They got some magic up under them. I just, I feel like somebody's outside of you going, hey, look, 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 and you're like, oh, what's that? Yeah, ah, somebody's sending you something. And they are doing it intentionally. Doesn't seem like, it just kind of seems like, oh, get it, get it, Virgo. Get it. And Virgo's like, what is that? So cautionary, so like, what is that, what is that? Like, have you seen this? Have you even seen this? Have you seen this? <laughs> what do you think? I don't know, Virgo, what do you think? Maybe somebody's sending you stuff that you're like, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? <laughs> what do you think about that? It doesn't feel bad at all. If anything, the person, the, the, the other subject on the other, I'm telling you, that seems so... Oh, it's different though. You're going for something that's already in front of you. There's another energy that's... Ooh, Virgo thinks it's a distraction. Mm. It's interesting, Virgo. I'm not gonna try and read into that too much, but like, the, the goal you're going for, cautionary tale. It's too, it's too stationary. It's almost like, it's too stationary. It doesn't even go anywhere. But then you get this four of pentacles. Who's sending, ooh, you got a knight of cups. This knight of cups chases transformation. Meaning it doesn't, uh, where they, where, where someone's road has been, um, they're like, that ain't it, that ain't it. And they're like, so they're like climbing to the highest heights with the intention of uh, fidelity to transformation, like um, true to transformation. So I think you're, I think, <laughs> like as you're going for what you want, Virgo, or what, what, what's got, ooh, girl, what's got your attention. Um, <laughs> it's like, uh, ooh, that looks, that's, that's interesting. You're getting these little, I almost want to say hints. You're getting these little droplets of hints. Um, is that supposed to be in the reverse? Yep. Uh, this is the Knight of Cups, Virgo. No, okay. So, it's outside of you. So, yeah, they're chasing, okay. There's another, there's another thing going on behind the scenes. This is totally behind the scenes. Uh, it's not out in public, but this, um, this Knight of Cups is seen as foolish. Like they make bad decisions, but that's just seen as. I've, I've, I've had my mind flipped about certain things. I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's different. Especially when it comes through, ugh, if it's, it comes through gossip or it comes through, did you hear? Just see what they're doing now. It's so foolish. Oops. <laughs> is, is that Virgo? Is that you? Oops. There's something that's distracting you, Virgo, that is, it's seemingly foolish. I mean, maybe it is foolish, but it doesn't, it doesn't like, it's like something that's like an, almost an arrested development on a, on a outer level. It, it can't develop. I mean, it can't even move forward. Six of Wands. It can't, it like, this, this, this individual who's behind the scenes is like, <laughs> they're not, they're not getting any credit for sure. Like no one's, no one's acknowledging them because they're being foolish. But it's not true, is it? That's so interesting. It's all about perspective. Maybe you see them as foolish and um, not going anywhere um, and just, just foolhardy, man. Fool! Fallen, fight 
Chocolate is so. <laughs> we all know who sings that song. Okay. Um, was, isn't it Ur Ursula one of those uh, Disney villains that, like, oh, they're so misunderstood? Maybe this person is seen as a villain. Ooh. I know a different side to villains. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. What else you got for Virgo? Whoa. Now, Nine of Swords comes up. What does this mean? So I'm picking up, obviously, the, the pulling someone out of a nightmare. Maybe even a, a smaller panda, um, like a child. Doesn't have to be children, it really doesn't have to be. I mean, even if, I would really get more of a um, inner child thing, but it's like Virgo um, pulling yourself out of a nightmare. And you can have faith that you're protected and pulling yourself out of that nightmare. I've actually had visions of, um, you know, during during uh, meditation and through sleep, mostly meditation, where um, the meditation will take me to a place that I'm not familiar with, but it'll take me to a place and I'll see something of familiarity. And as soon as I try to go toward it, scary stuff pops up. And the last vision I had where scary stuff popped up, um, I told, I like consciously made an effort to tell the, the baddies, the yuckies, to, to get away from me. I'm going over here whether you like it or not. And they dissipate. Those energies and these visions, they dissipate. All you have to say is take this sight from me. No, you get this out of my way. And if it if it's meant to be so, they go. Whatever is not meant for me, get it out of my way. Indifference, adversity, haters, all try and get in the way of something good. But you can't stop the good, y'all. Virgo, know that you can't stop the good. You can't stop that good good. <laughs> um, so don't worry about it. And in the end, in the end of this, it's almost like, oh my gosh. By pulling yourself out of your own nightmare. Look at that party. <laughs> Everybody's got a story. What's your story? Got no gaddis. Uh, yeah, got a reunion of some sort coming. What have you been through? What have you been through? Maybe this is three people meeting up, you never know. Nevertheless, uh, it's celebrating being pulled out of a nightmare. I'm so, oh my god, my Leo energy just went off. Like, the courage to be pulled out of a nightmare. And that's very true to reality. Uh, oh man, this is a nightmare. It doesn't have to be. And Virgo is uh, doing an amazing job being pulled out of it. <sighs> I love you guys. Bye.